Right, I'm back in for episode number 12. Welcome back, everyone, on YouTube. 12 spots a second over here. We're still scoring, everyone. Uh, same as the last couple of episodes, of course. Uh, why have we got two friendlies? <laughs> that's, uh, that's not right. Yes, bye, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Just cut the VOD into three. We do, we do three hours a week, that's, uh, and then upload them as VODs. Yeah, we're starting to build probably too much... Um, too much pickled meal up. We've got infinite storage, so not causing any issues right now. Uh, okay, come on. We just need these last couple of Atmos suits to fill up. Here we are. We are filling up from the front. And then we can just swap this last one over once we've got enough for them to run around in. It's a bit annoying they're still taking the, uh, the masks, even though there's really no point. No, if there's a suit available, why would you ever take a mask? The mask is just, just worse. If you're a duke, just take the suit. Okay. Yes. Oh, I don't need to do that. I just need to get rid of the dots, and then they'll just drop them at the, the checkpoint. Because if they're wearing a mask, they have to come in through this checkpoint. There's no other way for them to do it. Yes, this is a bit of a manifold design, and it's going to take a while to fill up front ones. So we'll leave it running for now. Okay, hopefully the, uh, the Saturn one's going. I'm still in a mask out here, Mr. Assistant Caretaker. But the generator's now connected, and he has a toilet. So there you are, tick, tick on those. We, uh, we didn't fail that one this time. So we should be able to get some telescoping done and grab some data banks too. I think we do have some early data banks just from... Uh, oh, this this isn't done? Just from uh, geysers and stuff, I was going to say. Yeah, we need to get this cleared out. That's not good. So yeah, we're filling, we're filling, we're filling, we're filling. It's going to take a while. If they keep using it as well, it's going to slow it down. He's got three ads on Twitch. The YouTube doesn't notice. Uh, yeah, no, it's alright, it's alright. Um, to be fair, you guys are generally quite chatty. It's always great to have uh, people in the chat. And if you're lurking, please feel free to say hello. Don't feel obliged, but if you want to. Uh, always good to chat with you guys. Well, why is this just a random ladder co copied there? Uh, it keeps me more entertained, especially when we're waiting on big things like this. Uh, oh look, we are vacuumed. We're vacuumed. This plug's like, better get out, or it's going to get a... Uh, trouble. Uh, okay, over here. A lot of sweeping to do. Hmm, I don't you. There's been a good amount of chat. Z controls lurking. Yes. Thank you, Z control. Okay, come on. So grab all this stuff out and then we'll close this up at least. We could actually power this if we wanted to, because we have the infinite infinite natural gas storage down here. Um Why have we got insufficient resources? Because this outline's not going anywhere. We're not even using the natural gas right now, we're still using coal. Which we are probably running slightly low on. Yes. Everyone's important, that's the uh that's the main thing. Uh yes, we got some we got some gas fields out here. This might be an orbit, in which case this may be a planetoid, so we'll see. I'm sure we will find it it's got that or that must be a planetoid. So it's a tip for anyone, I covered this in the Skewed Cosmic Archaeologist run, but the outer planetoids, <clears throat> no, well, because we were playing classic sized spaced out DLC, we have two inner planetoids and we'll have six outer. There's always six outer no matter what map you play. And they are split roughly evenly. So you'll find them basically split apart. So, for example, that one, that one, that one, that one, and another one over here somewhere, probably. They tend to be spread out. Uh, you can cluster them a little bit. We'll see. These are these are just points of interest. Okay, and that is two, so that's probably also one. In which case, I'm sure this one is a planetoid. I, I, I highly, 
highly confident that's the case. So we'll see. We'll see when they manage to get through it. Uh, okay. Right, so if we've got this done, we can... Uh, let's close this up at least, and then we're safe from that. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're vacuuming in here. I'm very tempted to kill this damn plug slug, because... It's, uh, I feel like it's going to get in the way. It might walk out, but I'm sure it's not going to. Okay, this liquid's going to be... Uh, well, it should be not petrol, uh, not oil, really. I think it's crude oil, isn't it? So I should put in a not gate. We got where's that? Okay. Use a lot of our steel. What do we use it? These doors. I need more steel. I need more steel for these doors. What's up with our steel production? Iron again. More iron. Okay. Put the back in cooking. Clusters of... Yeah, the, the clusters can't be. Yeah, they do need space. But I thought I just couldn't remember if they showed up like the uh, the rings or the, the orbit as a as a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't really want... Um, I don't really want meat in there and then rotting. That would not be good. Uh, okay, so the Atmos suits. I think we're done on those. So we deconstruct these and anyone outside with a mask on should come back in and dump it. I think. I see there are people in suits in here. Why? How, how, how has that happened? Uh, Nenesh and... Uh, Soup Kadai have managed to get in with, that, with suits. Oh, because they can walk past this? Okay. Didn't realise they could walk past that. Get this uh, done. Great, so now they're just walking wherever the hell they want, with or without suits. There's a problem. As soon as you've got one point of failure, everything breaks down. Yeah. Yeah, and they're just purposely ignoring this as well. They're just, they're preferring to take this route. <sighs> Bit of a painful transition this one, but we'll be alright. Get it sorted, everyone with a suit will go out and everyone with a, without a suit will come in eventually. New planetoid detected. We have Yakoni, which sounds like the marshy planetoid. Yeah, so that was one as we thought. So, because they've got to be roughly spread out. So this is probably one as well. And that's the marshy planetoid, which we can't oversee because we're not there. Um, but if we've done all the telescoping, then we can bring Caretaker back in. We don't have to land him, but we can at least bring him back in. Okay, and we have enough suits for these. Great. Right. Well, we have... I think we have, we have 16, don't we? So that's not quite enough for those. And some more. Okay. Uh, yeah, coal wouldn't hurt. I need more dupes right now. Okay, let's do that. We'll put in some window tiles then. Yeah, this carbon dioxide is going to die. Is this another plug slug got in, or is that the same one? So why is there water in here? I'm going to have to go mop that. Great. Damn um, ice nonsense getting in. Okay, and then we'll put the row. Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll reconnect that, so at least that's connected. And then we'll put the robo miner in here too. Maybe he's making that steel, don't we? Uh. Okay, come on. There we go. And then, yeah, once this is done, I'm just going to shut it up so we don't end up with any nastiness. Oh, great. Currently, we have a polluted water liquid lock, which is very interesting. Uh, generally, I wouldn't advise making liquid locks out of polluted water because they off-gas, but I don't know what's going on there. 
Dominic just got his mask on. Yeah, yeah. So anyone, anyone stuck with a mask will, will sort out. They'll be fine. And we've still got 12 reed fiber left, so that's good. And we have all the suits we need. Just heal some people up, I think. Oh, is that this friendly is is still dead over here? Where should we put friendly? Um, it's kind of in the way. Maybe uh, by the boiler. Did die getting stuck over here with the boiler? We'll place you next to the magma tank. There we are. Friendly will rest in peace over there. Heal up the last stragglers. Suits are charging, which is great, and now we are entirely swapped over. In the boil. Uh, uh, yes, you can. Uh, I've, uh, bothered. Have you caught the tutorial bite for petroleum boilers? Because I definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't already. I did mention there. Uh, yes, you can, as long as your oil output temperature is hot enough. But you really need your um, heat your and flow heat exchangers to be working efficiently otherwise otherwise you'll drain it dry but in theory yes so you should be fine oh right need to hydrate more okay I think we're down to vacuum in here so we can uh, get this rebuilt rebuilt okay I mean, we are we are very ready to basically turn this on, except for the don't we don't have an oil input and we don't have an industrial brick, so those would kind of be useful things to have. Um, right, assistant caretakers back, and it's hopefully if we put one here. Data banks, we have nineteen of them, so there you go. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, sure. I mean, give it a go in sandbox. That's a couple of volcanoes and used it. The heat a metal plate doesn't run one kit yeah so the the metal volcanoes run a lot less heat and welcome in as well lag bot so generally i don't recommend doing them with them i mean it, you can but you have to uh you say use a much reduced amount of oil so if you've got a volcano definitely the best way to go obviously they just make so much heat Yeah, you can do. You can put some steam turbines in. Ah, yeah, that's true. That's true. You can also geotune them for more heat output. That would help. Uh, let's get this sorted and then uh, sweep that as well. And then we'll just close this in. I say, except the. This is now uh, done. I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay, we'll firstly. Let's sort this out. We'll have to put a bit of oil in, then we'll liquid lock it, and then we'll put a mini pump in here. Yes, uh, this is why you shouldn't make uh, liquid locks out of uh, loose water, because of the exact reason. That was not very smart. Okay. So yeah, we get that bit finished, and then really we just need to crack on down here. So, get that slightly prioritised, so if they can speed up with that. And my suits are looking good. And then we'll be fine with that. New pipe that works in a vacuum. Yeah, I know I know. I need to re-lock, liquid lock it, but I can't do that because I need to, in order to re-liquid lock it, I need to put a catch tile. Uh, and then if I put that in, they can't get this stuff. So they need to hurry up and get this nonsense out. Then I'll put the catch tile in, and then we'll liquid lock it. And yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. I'm just doing things in the right order. We'll just turn this off now, because this is actually a waste of time. So it's locked. Come on. Okay, let's just grab that. So yeah, we have to put a... Put one there. 
Because otherwise you just end up with oil down here and then you just have to go get that out again. So. Is that not? Oh, we get some more magma. Right, oh, I finally, finally caught that on, uh, on camera. There you go. Volcanoes ago. We're us up with that lovely hot stuff we're going to need. Okay, I don't know what that ping was, but don't like it. What are we doing up here? Okay. Assistant caretaker is on the data bank hand, which is great. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The oil that's down here just got spilled because of the liquid lock. I'm using the conduction panel, it's on the... There's so much gas in here, jeez. It's going to take a while. Get that sorted. Yeah, this mini pump is not great for this. I don't really have space for a normal pump. And I don't want to deconstruct the... Minor, because I'm lazy. Anyway, it's not going to make any difference because this isn't built and we don't have any oil. Oh, the other thing we can do now, we can go back to this, can't we? We can continue our exploring down here, which we desperately need to do. So we have not found the third. Uh, I say the third as if I know there's one there. I'm hoping there's one there. We'll find out. So yeah, we need to uh, get this done. We need to get a lot of things done. As always, we just need to go quicker. Everything more quicker now. Yeah, it probably will. But, I mean, it's already gone down by a, kilo, uh, a kilogram per tile. And say, this is, vacuuming this out is not going to limit us building this, you know. Getting this done is definitely going to take longer, so we don't have to worry about uh, that being the thing to hold us up. Uh, it will definitely be this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. And then we'll put in a little, I say little, we'll use a full sized area down here. Uh, to put in our heating system. And we're going to go straight through that. What is this? Again, carbon oxide. I always forget. Fine, I'll just keep rechecking them. It's a useful comment that said you could put numbers on them to tell how useful they were. That doesn't, I don't think that gives me the answer I want anyway. It takes two seconds to check, so we check. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll boil all of the water that's in here. Uh, it's going to take a while with that polluted water, but... Uh, yes, they're very powerful things, those tepidizers, so we'll trick out the tepidizer and we'll boil all the polluted water off with it. That's the plan. So yeah, I'm not sure we're going to get this built in <laughs> in the next 40 or so minutes. We'll try. Um, but I'm kind of doubting it. Right, I'm also going to bump priority on this because this question is burning me and uh, I really want to know the answer to it. Let's find out if we actually have a third oil. Um, so this is the industrial brick. You can see the ranches. These are Slexter ranches. Uh, and that's because... This produces 10 kilograms per second of petroleum, which you burn in five petroleum generators. And then that makes a whole load of carbon dioxide that you can feed to slicksters, uh, molten slicksters. Then you get loads of food out of this thing. Can okay, I cover the numbers in this tutorial, Mike? Uh, all right. Uh, Miski D is off. Thank you very much for popping in. So if you so wish, you of course may catch the rest on the VOD. Or, or not, it's entirely up to you. Um, let me... I might as well link this thing because it's quite topical. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, we're digging. Uh, can you go over here? Ah ha ha, we found a third oil reservoir. Awesome. That is what we were hoping for. Uh, okay. Can we climb up without uh, ladders? Yes, we can. Awesome, right, we found that. So yeah, we do also need to start getting these tamed and getting the uh, getting the oil in. 
Um, that's the story bite link. So if you guys haven't seen that and you're interested in probably a better explanation than I can give uh, while rambling on, I will try. Yeah, I'm happy to try and explain stuff on stream, but I usually end up way more long-winded than those tutorial bites that I script and purposely uh, um, make as concise as possible. So petroleum boiler explained as short as can be done, I think. Well, as short as, short as I can do it. Okay, yeah. The uh, the mini pump is it's struggling along, but it'll it'll get there. It'll get there. <laughs> to build it while explaining it. Yes, I said build it beforehand. That's the uh, fun of it. Uh, the other thing I haven't done, I just realised, is I need the uh, thermosensor on here. Uh, completely forgot about that. Whoops. Uh, kill dear. Uh, right, anything else that I've missed that I should definitely put in here? I think we're okay. Uh, hydro sensor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again. Should be fine, but we'll make it out of copper. Just in case. Don't want things melting in here. And we've got loads of copper, so why not? Other than that, I think we're good. I think we're good. Really, you just came to dig one thing and then you're done. That's very efficient. Thank you, dupes. Take a strike the tile that's closing. Huh? Deconstruct the tile that's closing where the magma goes in. Uh oh yes, yeah 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, I can take that out. Now that was just a catch for the, the oil I had to remake the um remake the liquid lock, yeah. Good point, uh Magma Texel. Let's uh Yeah, take that out and rebuild it. Sure. Yeah, it's alright. It it's not gonna make much difference in the end. But a uh, good catch. We definitely need to get rid of that. Okay, come on, dupes. Dupes are uh, building away. Uh, so, yeah, we should. Okay. Uh, do we need to get rid of this pitcher pump? It's cold down here, right? It's it's really cold. So, why don't we just. Rather than like properly insulate it, we could just um, put a loosely box in. Then we do have to somewhat deal with the natural gas in here as well. The hydro sensor is not reachable. Good point. Good point. Yeah, let's pop that in. Got there, mister. This out. There we are. Keep breaking in and out. Shake it all about. Um, yeah, we need to... We do need to trap the natural gas. That's kind of thing. Maybe we... We'll move this down here, because that's fine. No, they won't be able to do that. Move that down there, take this out, and then yeah, we can box it in. We can we can non-insulated box it in, I think. That might be a solution. Uh we'll We usually need to come up here. Uh up there? No. Okay, as long as we've got space for this, we should be fine. Put the oil well on here. That's the one. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to go over this as well, unfortunately. And then, yeah, we can do the, do the normal bath design. So plant. Uh, we'll leave it like that. So pump, uh, pump, sensor, sense, uh, have I left enough room for this? This one's very wide. Compared to that, uh, sensor, sensor. Uh, 
have to put something like this, I think. It's a melting oil over there. There we go. It's specifically used for cobalt. Um, not particularly, no. Uh, definitely good to put it to use on it, but it's, it, it's, it's basically as good as any other refined metal. The conductivity is quite good. It's not quite aluminium good, but it's quite good. Um... Alright, let's pop this over there too. And then, uh, yeah, we are just, we're just going to have to ladder this. A better way to do it. Now we'll come across here as well. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, we'll pop the, uh, pumps and sensors. And we've got to run power down here as well. Um, these things take... What, just 240 and then the pump. I think we can run them all off one conductive line. I don't think that's a problem. We've got easily enough headroom. We'll be fine. Okay. Alright, well, this is another building project. Uh, and then, yeah, we can do the pumps and stuff. So, pump wise, again, we'll use gold because it does get a bit toasty down here. Uh. This is not very efficient. Yeah, I don't I don't like this. Not not efficient. Uh more efficient. We can go sensor sensor sensor, yep. Yeah. Uh let's do the same over here. <laughs> there we are. Take that out, and then, and yeah, du, du, du. that's the one. Okay, and then we can gas pipe, gas pipe, gas scent, gas, gas pump. There we go, got there in the end. I make it have gold because it will get hot in here eventually. I know it's not hot now, but uh, a gold amalgam pump is more than enough to deal with everything. But uh, we need. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we need two hydro sensors. We'll put one now on that. And roll over here. We'll put one now on that. And then the top one needs to go to the oil reservoir. And the bottom one needs to go to that. And then we can put a Atmo sensor here. And bottle empty there. Get rid of those. Okay, that's good. So many layers to this. Uh, and then we're going to bring power through as well. And we are also going to bring... We're going to bring water in and we're going to bring water, uh, oil out. So that's going to come that way. See, the oil I think we could probably get away without insulated pipes. It shouldn't freeze down here, but the water definitely will freeze down here. So, okay, we've got a zig and zag. Still zigging and zagging. Uh, and this is also yet another giant pipe. Uh, there we go. Oil. Perfect. I say, the, there is absolutely no way we're getting this thing on today, if that was not already clear. Um, unfortunately, actually. We will, we will not manage that. So, definitely make a load, load of good progress, so can't complain too much. And uh, next time, next time I'm sure we'll get this thing turned on. Yeah. We are close, but it's going to take him a while to build this and the, um, the industrial brick. So those are the two big things remaining right now. Uh, that to there, that to there, that to there. Uh, power. This uh, is quite a lot to build. <laughs> In on reflection, this is going to take a while. So we'll see. The dam. Uh, 
duplicate checkpoint. There we go. So yeah, and also as a tip to, to maybe less experienced players, don't worry about building big things. However big you think is big, you can go bigger. And make everything priority nine, exactly. Problem solved. Then they'll definitely get it done. I mean, I made this all priority six, and they are, they are working on it. They're working on it. We are most of the way there. The boiler itself is done, I think. The uh, the mini gas pump is slowly chugging its way through the last little bit. But everything else is good. Everything's good. Getting more water through here as well. Uh, we also need to do cooling on this and steam turbines and petroleum generators. Also, do we even have any slicksters? This is also a, a question I didn't ask myself. I don't think we have any slicksters, right? It's just the same as the barn lily issue. And uh, their Vera is not going to tell me some of those are buried. Hmm, okay, we have no slicksters, which is a bit of a problem. Do you have any slicksters here? I guess not. Oh dear. Um, we may have a problem. There's slicksters over here. There's no oil in this one, right? And there's no slicksters anywhere else. Hmm. That does make an issue. Quite a large one. Um. Okay. That's scuppering my plans a bit. Can we get some without uh, a printing pod? Have a quick check of the care package list. Uh, we're going to need the uh, care package list. Let's see, Slickster. Lava egg. Um, discover first tick. Is that that's a bad thing, right? So you have to discover them. And have we discovered them, or were they all dead before we got there? I have, I have no idea. How are we get on a space as well? Poor assistant caretaker doing. He's still going. Still going. All right. We'll okay. Um, but then they also in the patch they made it so that you get them after a while, don't you? I could vent it. I could. Problem is it kind of ruins the steam and it makes so much you have to vent it to space, really. You can't just vent it wherever. Hmm. I'm guessing we don't have any lava eggs anywhere. That would be super convenient. Oh, we haven't discovered them. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not good. Oh, uh, you could door crush it, actually. You could do. But the problem is, I really wanted the food out of this build, because the food is just going to accelerate us and end our reliance on dirt. We are very dirt reliant right now, and it's going down. We've lost 10 tons this stream so far. Uh, and I know there's lots, but it's not great. I mean, the power would help. The power would definitely help. That is not something I thought about, and a bit of a problem. We, yeah. we may as well door crush it. I mean, that's the other thing. So you know, why not? Anyway, let's let them build. Um, I've got to check those patch notes. Uh, Cause there was a thing where. They changed it so that you um, the printing pod does it right. Okay, it wasn't in the it wasn't in that one. It wasn't in the the move one. Uh, was it in this one, the quality of life one? Uh, all patch notes. <laughs> Struggling. Uh, about spice grinder. I swear I saw this somewhere. That's I'm going nuts. Uh, oops. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing I swear I remember there was something in a release. Was it? It wasn't in Water Blast, was it? No, that's way too far. Uh, let me check, take the full patch notes for the move one then. To never open at all. Added Mo Mellow Mallow and Bliss Burst to care packages. Added Grub Fruit Seed. Right. Care packages for seeds, food, egg, critters and eggs which require you to first discover them are now available after cycle 500. Right, that's what I remember. Sorry, I found it. So, yes. So we will get them, but we've got to wait for another 314 cycles. <laughs> that's quite a while. I mean, for most people, that's kind of a reasonable time for a petroleum boiler. I think I've just gone pretty quick. Hmm. Hmm. That's not ideal. That is... That is far from ideal. Right, I'm going to, uh... I'm going to bring assistant caretaker back. He's been out there for far too long. And we can, um... I'm also going to ground this rocket so he doesn't try and sleep in it. And... Yeah, we can grab the data banks and we can start doing research again. So I stopped the research because we didn't have any data banks, but we do now. Uh, oof, nuclear, nuclear just gives you power. Um, what else do we want? I mean, the solid shipping's nice. I suppose we'll just go stop here. I mean, why not? Let's get better engines. We we'll get petroleum engines. There's no biological cargo bay. No, 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 none of them give give that kind of thing. Uh, uh, we're missing a virtual planetarium. Which is definitely the coolest research building, I think. I mean, that's just me. Definitely has the best visuals. Yeah, you, you can't get them from space. I'm pretty sure they can. That's the case. Uh, yeah. So unfortunately, I think we're stuck with what we're stuck with. So we get, we're in more carbon dioxide by launching this rocket as well. That's also what I was thinking. Yeah, it's true. They're just benches, really. Even the uh, materials study one. Okay, this is all on a six, and they're just kind of ignoring it, really. They're like, eh, we could do that. I mean, the alternative is we could we could start doing some hatches. I could, I could put hatches in here, although it's probably too hot. I have to brick up this geyser. We could we could put hatches in here and ranch them. If we want food, though, obviously we can't turn the boiler on for that. This is all going to be a big uh, waste of time because we've got no slicksters. There's none down here. None we can discover and quickly nab before they uh, freeze to death or something. Or are they already long dead? Because so, I didn't think they generated the map until you actually discovered it, so... We might still find something there, I have no idea. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Damn. Yeah, I think what we'll do... I mean, in the short term, if we let the... This, uh, this cool steam vent is doing a pretty good job heating this whole area up. So we'll let that go. Um, because it's cold down here at the bottom. Then we'll, we'll stick a load of hatches in here. And we'll just feed them rock, obviously. That's a uh, that's a start point. But yeah, we won't we won't be able to run the boiler. Just can't run it. That's, uh, no, why not? Not going to happen. Which is very annoying. Didn't think about that. That's a bit of an oversight, isn't it? There you go. Feed them cake. Let them eat cake. Okay, right, we are refueled and ready to go again. Uh, I don't think we can telescope this from... No, we can't telescope this, we can't get close enough. But we can come this way and do that. They don't generate at all, according to the wikis. Really? They don't, they, they, they get generated on, um, on map creation, I don't know. 
Mixed berry pie. Um, yeah, we could um, we could swap to bristle blossoms if this is an issue. We've got loads of water now. If anything, we've got too much water. I'm gonna flood this. Rhyme blacks. Ah, right. Okay. See, I should have known that. I feel I feel like I should have known that, but I didn't. And then we have problems. Uh, yeah, let's. Um, I'm not sure I'm quite going to go to mixed berry pie, but uh, we could. Uh, annoyingly, the uh, the coolie loops in a way. We we can't replace these. Mm. That's a bummer. Also, we can't replace those because the uh, flipping loop goes right through that, so that's not going to happen. Did not design this very well, did I? Right, let's take those out. Ah, we can take the, these out and these out, so let's do that. And then, um, I, get, I don't know what's going on with this pipe. This is a defunct pipe. We will get rid of that, connect that up, bring that across. Bridge it over and run it in. Oh, run it down, I suppose. Oh, don't get rid of that one. Yeah, we'll be gristle burying for now. Well, the the, the water source. I mean, I mean, obviously we got this cool steam vent here that's just going off randomly. The main bit I'm pulling the water from is the salt geyser. That's f that's pulling our our actual water together. Uh, we should do some kind of proper water storage as well. I think uh, hatches, sweetles. Could do sweetles, but we don't have any sulfur. We just, we need a better way to make food, is what I'm saying. And I think right, we'll have to go to bristle blossoms. In terms of power, we should be fine with the. Uh, with these gas pumps for the natural gas vents. New planetoid detected. Perfect. Oh, there's no heavy watt spine up here. Hmm, that's a bit of a miss. Alright, let's bring that all the way up. What have we got? Uh, Blizzona. That sounds like the frozen planetoid. Which is that one. Say, so this one I suspect is also another planetoid. Remember, say, they're spread out, so... That one's probably one, that's probably one, there's probably one over here, and uh, might be one, might not be. So I'm sure we'll find this one. Uh, very soon we should get another one. Who's making a mess? Um, Revolt, how on earth have you managed that? That is impressive levels of suicide. How, how, how did you even get there? I don't, I don't, I don't know, it's a mystery. Uh, some wild grub grubs you could... It's true, but then you've got to feed them sulfur out somewhere. Mm. Oh, and I can also announce as well, that will be uh, the next Critter bite. And I've already finished it, and I've scheduled it for you guys. It'll be coming out, I think... Uh, I think it might be... Two weeks' time. <laughs> I've scheduled it for you, but it's done. So, uh... Yeah, great. Because there's build things, they can't do anything. Thank you, Revolt. You're just causing me a headache. There we go. Right. Out again. What oh, I'm making a mess. I don't know how this ladder got into the, the blueprint. Uh, you have some wild grub rubs. Yep. Yeah. Oh, right. I see. Um. Yeah, maybe. Not sure there are any wild ones. Okay. Yeah, but we're looking, we're looking good with this. We are looking almost finished, I think. Although, yeah, not gonna be much use anyway. Uh -huh. uh, what else was I gonna say? I was going to say for you guys on Twitch, I will announce the winner of the next vote so as i said the divergence are planned in for the next critter tutorial by plug sucks just came out uh and i also have a vote going on the discord and on the patreon for the next topic 
So if you guys stick with me at the end of the stream, I'm not going to put it on the YouTube. It's what you get if you come see me live. I will announce the winner of that vote at the end of the stream. And unfortunately, you guys on YouTube are just going to have to wait. But uh, hopefully, actually, off, um, it won't be out too long after this episode, I would hope, by the time this episode comes out. So when I get back from holiday, I will have a lot of spare time, I think. So we can do a load of streaming, do a load of videos. It'll all be good. We're going to have a very busy September, which will be awesome. Is a cool steam vent necessary for this ranch? Um, this one, no. It's just, because uh, this is this is intended to be a hot industrial brick, we'll have to repurpose it for the hatches, but because we're meant to have slicksters in here and run this at about 130 degrees, having a cool steam vent in here is basically fine. It does, it does exactly the same thing. So that's why it's in here. With, with a hot industrial brick, you can basically throw any geyser or vent inside that you want and it will just work. Uh, is that literally true for everything? I probably wouldn't throw a sulfur one in or a natural gas one in or maybe even a hydro one. Any, yeah, the carbon dioxide ones, the water ones, the steam ones, the metal volcanoes, volcanoes, you can throw those in a hot industrial brick and it will work excellently. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to have to rely on this for power and the brick for food. Oh. There we go. No, it won't solidify. That's actually not too bad then, in that case you could pump it out. Rather than... Uh, we're done with the telescoping. I think we're done with the telescoping. So you can just pump it out as a liquid rather than um, have to, to ship it out. So it's actually not too bad from that perspective. Oof, this pump is uh, flooded. Oh, are we? Okay. Something's dripping up here still. Probably still this ice, I don't know. Right. Okay, time for a bit of priority nine shenaniganing, because they are just ignoring me. I don't know what they're doing. I don't like being ignored. Stupes are meant to be at my command. Uh, mechanical fools. Yeah, but. Generally, my preference is just to try and avoid mixing stuff that doesn't need to be mixed in the first place. The uh, neater solution, I find, personally. There are cheap and free filters you can use, of course. And this is also going to free up the uh, hydrogen that was trapped in these. Okay, get this stuff done now. And then, oh, this, uh, this floor is really high. Up in there. Something weird happened there. I've uh, misjudged the floor. Um, right. I'm going to cover all of them. That one will. I think that's fine. We have to run power up here as well. But uh, well, we have to run power up here that won't be reachable, which is a bit of a pain. We have to put a tiny ladder segment to get that going. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened with this floor. This floor went a bit wonky, didn't it? Uh, that one, that one. Yeah, that should cover all of them. Okay. Mm. Saves are starting to get a little bit longer. Being not as bad as the most tubes run, but slowly getting there. Cool. Oh, we still haven't buried friendly, oh dear. Uh, let's, uh, let's do that. Get friendly buried. Where was the body? Up here. Yeah. There were... Mistakes were made. Oop. Identified object. I think he's a... Assistant caretaker telescoping up from in there. Alright. Slime one. Yeah, the problem is this is too cold for hatches and this is too hot for hatches. <laughs> Uh, just double check their livable temperature range. Uh, minus 30 to 70. Alright, okay. That's all fine then. Alright, in which case, in which case we may as well just block this up. 
and uh, yeah, start filling this with hatches. Will be a plan. Oh, we've got some more steel back as well. I think we used a lot of steel in that design. This is now vacuumed as well. We can we can close this too. That'll be good. Oh no, hold on a minute. It's a door here, and we can replace that. At least get this built. Oh, and we can replace the right side. There you go. These are all the things I forgot to do. Right, odds on them building themselves in. Anyone, anyone want to take bets on this? Yeah, okay, 100%. Of course they had to go and do that. Also, why is it lagging so much? Really laggy. What the? All right, this is the better way to do it, I think. Yeah, we need the right side built. See if we can grab the stuff. It doesn't get stuck in here. Mm hmm. Perfect. Feels a lot laggy. Have I? I think I have fast track on as well, though. No. Not sure if, you know, the graphics card update probably makes basically no difference. But my the CPU upgrade I did, part of the most tubes run, would definitely be helpful. Well, I shouldn't have any problems running a base this side. Oh, did it? <laughs> that hatch just ran in and died. Turned straight into meat. Got too hot, I think. Come on, someone nab this meat. Some of it. And the rest. Hmm, hopefully it hasn't uh, impacted performance too badly. We always want more performance, not less. Right, great. Let's grab that, close it in. And... Then we can... Yeah, this will be fine for hatches after this, so we're all good. We have a load of water, which is great. Uh, we have a load of ignoring build orders. Which is not great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. We're getting meteor showered. Being slimed on. Right, printables, mallow seeds. That's the mallow seeds they added to the uh, printing pod. There you go, in the Song of the Mill update. <laughs> The hatch evolved itself already. Didn't didn't need any help. Uh, I was gonna say we can turn these into hatch ranches, but hatch ranches also need uh, also need a critter feeder, whereas a slickster ranch does not. So we'll have to uh, uh, shuffle this out. One. We're going to. I'm going to blueprint a door and a tile, because why not? There we go. Then we'll have to put the uh, the feeder in as well. It's got soggy feet, so I want me to pee in this suit. Again, I still don't know why there's water over here. Alright, we just get the lights on, the water should be in, and we can put blossom. oh we might not have enough blossom seeds for this, we've got 20, I think it's more than 20. Uh, leave a gap if you want to switch the grooming for hydration. Yeah, well we can just rebuild later, we'll see, we'll see. I think we may have to go the gassy moon route. In order to have enough to to allow a few enough ranches, or the well, the alternative is we take more caretakers. You know, I planned three caretakers just as a because I thought they'd be the starting dupes. I mean, that's why I picked three. If we need more than three, we can do more than three. No, it's not um, 
Not hard limit. Well, we're missing one wire. Do that wire, please come on. These things need to grow. Anyone? Anyone? Oh, and thank you much for the follow uh, vehicle. Welcome in as well. Okay, wire, come on. 5.7, don't tell me we've run out of copper. Probably not. I know we're low on copper, but... Uh, do I do the boiler edit? I did, and then I realised there are no Slicksters later, so... Um, I built all this, and then realised I can't get any out of the printing board until at least cycle 500. And after that, it's potluck, so... Um, yeah. Bit of an error on that. Don't try and do it so quickly on Rhyme. Okay, right, we've got Bristle Blossoms coming now, which is good. So we're going to have to turn it into a hatch ranch and rely on the uh, the natural gas guys as power. So that's the plan. We're still building it anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's pop a pretty feeder in these ones. <sighs> Rather annoying. I suppose the alternative is, if we're talking about venting it, we could put some petroleum boilers near space and just... Not petro just petroleum generators near space and just power a heavy watt up there. Possible. Possible. Because you really need to vent it, you don't... you really do not want to pump that much carbon dioxide, it's a lot. But how much is it? I mean, it's probably doable with pumps. Going back on that statement now, hold on. Strong generator. It's 500, so you get two and a half thousand grams. So you need five gas pumps to counteract it. More efficient just to put it in in vacuum already and just let it go. Um, right, anyway, as I muse on that, we have reached the end of the stream, end of the episode. So I had better do my normal wrapping up process and describe what we've spent the last three hours doing, which has basically been doing a build that I can't use for another two on, uh, 300 cycles, which is a bit of an error really, and in hindsight, not the smartest thing to have done. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we like I said, we'll repurpose the, the hot brick now into a hatch ranch to tide over our food situation. That will help in the meantime. Uh, we may still turn the boiler on and use the petroleum somewhere for power but i want to do it somewhere near space so it'll just vent the carbon dioxide to space uh, but we then need to consider our heavy watt spine which is running down here and our petroleum line which will come out currently comes out here uh, we could route it up we could route it across we'll have to work that bit out because obviously we've got to build the actual base in this area too so um that's something we can get going with i think uh, the, the bristle blossoms will help as well we probably don't need to go nuts on the hatch ranches I should do some maths just to work out how much this is. Uh, and overpowered, thank you again for another one. We started the stream with you gift subbing and now we ended it with you. Appreciate that very much. Um, and yeah, welcome Vlad to the list and to the subscriber. You get a lovely icon and a couple of other benefits as well. Uh, make sure you join the Discord. If you're subscribed on, you, on Twitch, uh, join the Discord for some of your um, some extra benefits. Right, uh, so yeah, that's what we've done, mostly. Have we done anything else? Now, we did find the third oil well, which is great. We managed to get across here. And we were able to find the third oil well because we got Atmo suit. So we transitioned this over to Atmo suit somewhat painfully, but we got there in the end. Um, we've just swapped this out for Bristle Blossoms. We're short of seeds, for sure, but give it a bit of time. We'll farm these up, and then we'll get some more Bristle Blossoms. They're a great mid-game food source. They just rely on water. So I think next time, water source is going to be key. Obviously, we've got the saltwater geyser here. It's the one we've tapped right now. But we should probably try and find some more geysers, especially uh, so, uh, water ones. That's a hydrogen vent. Okay. Is this a saltwater? They usually salt. That's a mini volcano. All right. 
Um, was there a second saltwater one somewhere? There must be more water geysers on this planetoid. Just haven't found them yet. So we go hunting for that. We can also do a little infinite water storage. Do a bit of a better job than uh, this mess over here. So maybe somewhere in our infinite storages we can put water too. Do a bit of an initial waterfall design. It's kind of my favourite one. And then uh, we have also done a bit of rocketry. A little bit of uh, taming this natural gas geyser over there. Bit of rocketry. We've discovered three planetoids. Oh, we found the water planetoid as well. Didn't really catch that. But the water planetoid, the frozen planetoid and the marshy planetoid. Obviously the marshy gives us ice or resin. The water gives us fullerene for supercoolant. It gives us graphite technically to make fullerene, to make supercoolant. If we can't find a gilded asteroid out here somewhere. Uh, and the frozen asteroid doesn't really give us anything other than iron and the temporal tear opener knees, of which we're particularly in desperate need of. So really we're looking for the superconductive planetoid. There'll be one here. That may be one or there may not be one. I'm pretty sure that'll be one. Then the other two will be around here somewhere. So we're going to need better rockets to do some more telescoping. We are also on the data bank hunt. So we've got 126 units over here now. That's going to speed us through the research tree, which is great. So we should probably land him and let him do the research. That's probably a good idea. Uh, right, so yeah, next time, I think a bit more rocketry. We'll sort the food out with the hatches and the bristle blossoms. We'll get some power going, and then I think uh, we'll do the infinite storage. I can't see any reason why we shouldn't start actually just building the final base. That would be a good idea to at least get some get some bones laid down of that, kind of plan it out, and get cracking. But uh, that is it for now. As I say, we've got another 300 cycles till we get Slictus going. We'll turn that on. A uh, huge thank you for joining me across these episodes. And if you're watching kind of as they come out on YouTube, apologies, they've been a bit slow because of the holiday, but hopefully you haven't missed them too much. There's been lots of other videos. Um, either way, thank you for joining me. We'll be back to regular scheduling on YouTube after this. We'll be back to three a week and we'll see you there. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.